Hi guys! Welcome back to another video in my greenhouse. In today's video I'm going to be repotting some of my favourites that you would have seen me repot not too long ago. But I did get a new fish tank so these guys are getting an upgrade to a bigger tank and I wanted to repot them into their sort of permanent pots and I also want to mount them on some poles. So I will get a small one and I'll show you rather than these large ones. So these here are tree fern fibre um, poles for your aeroids or climbing plants. Um, tree ferns are native here to New Zealand so these are like a renewable um, renewable resource and they're quite porous too so they absorb a lot of moisture um, and that really helps your aeroids roots to grasp on and penetrate these poles um, giving your plants a really good support so so this is actually going to be the first time that I will be using these um, and I thought I would try them out in the tank because obviously with the lid on they'll retain a lot more moisture and um, keep that humidity in there so I'm quite excited to see how my plants grow with these. And the three plants I'm going to be repotting is my Viricosum, um, which has grown so so much. It has finally got some furry petiole action and it's about to put out this new leaf so I'm really excited for this guy. The next one I'm going to be repotting is my giant Monstera and Insonii. This guy has already attached himself to his little bamboo pole, so he'll really like these panga poles. He's got a new leaf coming through. Um, this latest leaf is huge. I feel like it has some sort of deficiency because I don't know if you can see, but the leaf is slightly yellow. Um, so when I give it a repot, I'm going to give them a feed as well. And the other plant I'm going to be repotting is my Philodendron Pink Princess. This beauty is going to go into the tank because she has a bit of difficulty unfurling her new leaves because the humidity in my house isn't quite high enough. Um, you can kind of see like the battle scars of where I've tried to help the new leaves unfurl. Um, so yeah, I'll be excited to see if she produces some new leaves without any struggle. Um, and I'll also give her a better pole to climb on. So yeah, those are the three plants I'm going to be repotting today. And yeah, let's just get into it. I am sweating up a storm in here. Oh yeah, and as you'll notice, my hair is now orange. I love it. Um, it's actually my 30th birthday today. So yeah, I thought I'd spend the day repotting in my greenhouse because that's what I like to do. I had a beautiful brunch with my friends this morning. That was beautiful. Um, but yeah, let's get into repotting. Okay, so these are the pots I'm going to be reusing. They're just old nursery pots and these are the large pump poles I'm going to be using. So I've already hosed the poles down um, in water outside so they're nice and damp and I'm going to put some propagation um, sand in the bottom of these pots because they do actually have a little recess and I just want to do that to help keep the weight at the bottom of the pot so they don't topple over and probably the first plant I'm going to do is the varicosum if only you could see what I was using for a tripod at the moment I have a bowl and I have my drink bottle and I have my phone like wedged into my drink bottle handle to try and hold it there um, yeah, I need a better setup. But anyway, I'm going to be repotting this beauty first. So, first things first, I will take it off this little bamboo stake. This is actually already almost too tall for the new fish tank. Um, so I'm probably going to have to propagate this at some stage, but I'm not ready for that yet because I love it. It is beautiful. It is finally getting all furry and putting out some beautiful leaves. So that'll just have to wait for another day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the soil out. I have a container over there that I tip all the old um, soil into and I just put that in my compost bin. So I'm going to do that now. She has some pretty good roots on her, so that's exciting. Um, sorry if you can hear 
my partner in the background who's finishing our windows and our laundry so that's what that noise is so what I'm going to do is I put a little layer of soil in the bottom of the pot and I'm just going to really push that tightly in around the pole to act as a support and I have mixed my own Aroid mix um, if you watched my last video you would have seen how I've, I've done it um, it's very loose, very porous, very chunky which is what Aroids like so I'm just pushing that tightly around the pole here I really really hope the poles aren't too top heavy and I'm going to plop this baby in there oh it's going to look so good stay It didn't stay. So I'm just going to fill the rest of the pot up with soil and then I'll show you what it is looking like. Okay, I just had to run and go and get my plant tape so I can secure this guy to the pole until it adheres itself. Okay, I think that looks really good. So that's the varicosum done. I'm happy with that. I will pop that to the side. So I'm just doing the exact same thing for the Adansonii. So packing the soil nice tightly up behind the pole and in front of the pole first like so now I'm gonna have to try and unstick this guy from his pole so over to the bin again this plant seriously grows so insanely quickly like it has so many roots um it really oh okay Yep, there we go. It actually came off really easy, so <laughs> I'm thankful for that. Look at those um, aerial roots there. So these are going to adhere to that pole super nicely. I'm just going to plonk that in there. Have to jimmy it, loosen up some of the old soil to get it close to that pole. Bring it here so you can see. Oof, yeah, she's going to look so good. Okay, so I'm going to adhere it to the pole first so then I can put the soil in around it without it falling over out of place. Sorry my videos aren't very professional. Um, I just, it's a hobby. I don't want to take it too seriously because um, then I sort of lose enjoyment if I start to get too like technical and too planned out I just like to to wing things go with the flow and have fun so that is looking super good Oof, I'm so excited for these to grow I think I might need a little bit more soil in there so if you're curious in my soil mix I have quite an array of um, different mediums so I have sphagnum moss I have a perlite and vermiculite mix I have orchid bark I have tree fern fiber and I also have just your standard potting mix um, I was actually reading quite an interesting article about um, like hobbyists with their aeroids and using like soilless mixes and how their plants are getting quite deficient in a lot of um, nutrients because the um, the substrates that people are using 
don't hold in nutrients like um, the, the soil does. So that's why I like to use a bit of soil as well because that helps retain some of the nutrients that the plants need. Um, as well as obviously fertilizing your plants is a way to um, to get those nutrients that they otherwise wouldn't get if they weren't growing in the soil. So that's that guy that looks so good. I'm so happy with that. Okay, so I'll put this one aside. And last but not least is Mrs. Pink Princess. This girl is a really slow grower. Um, well, it kind of is and it isn't. Like, it's been kind of a slow grower, but then again, when I first got it, it was three leaves, and now it's got eight leaves, so that's not too bad. Surprising for her size, she actually doesn't have that great of a root system. Um, which is a bit alarming. The roots aren't rotten. They're still pink and they're still alive. I think. Like they're not breaking away when I'm pulling the soil. They're still pretty strong. Thank goodness. So she's not dying, so that's good. So again, I'm gonna secure her to the pole first before I put in the soil and I'm going to secure her quite tight to the pole so that'll hopefully encourage her to grow some aerial roots which will go into the pole to help support her that lace was getting a bit bent but that is fine she'll be right get some more soil in there Oh, I'm so excited. It's gonna look so, so good. I can't wait to get my tank set up, man. Like, I've been wanting a bigger tank for so long. But the only delay is, is I have to wait for hubby to build me a stand so it can sit on, so it's not just chilling on the floor. Um, but until that is built, I'm gonna be putting these babies in there so they can sort of acclimatize this themselves to their new environment. Okay. Oh, Pinky's done. So this is Pinky in her new home. This is Varu in her new home. And this is Mon in her new home. And in this sauce bottle, I have seaweed, um, a seaweed plant tonic, so just a little bit of feed for them, um, diluted with water, and I'm going to water these three plants with that. Now, this is so handy, it makes your watering super simple, um, it directs the water exactly where you want it to go, so yeah. Sneak peek, sneak peek, oh wow, sneak peek. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.